Hey there, and welcome to Gemstars, part of the Untold Stories Project. I'm Wiki, and I'll be your host and Game Master this evening. Gemstars is an actual play of Mutants and Masterminds, the world's greatest superhero RPG, from Green Ronin Publishing, and it is set in the world of Lafondi. Mutants and Masterminds is a D20-based system that allows players and GMs to create stories featuring all of the greatest heroes of their imagination. One of the fun things about Mutants and Masterminds is the inclusion of the hero point. These allow heroes to do things like re-roll a die, take an extra action, recover from a dangerous condition, make small scene edits, or use their powers in creative ways. Heroes each start with one of these hero points and can gain additional points for good role-playing, funny jokes, clever decisions, having their characters' complications used against them, and by your generosity. That's right. If you subscribe, renew a subscription, or donate bits to the stream, you will generate a hero point that can be given to the player of your choice. We are a small but growing streaming network, and those follows, subscriptions, likes, and comments both here on Twitch and over on YouTube help to keep us visible, growing, and paying our bills. Now, let's meet our heroes for tonight, shall we? Say, this is bad, heroes. This, this is, is bad, bad heroes. heroes. <laughs> you know it's bad when we're actually like on top of it. <laughs> In sync. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I love that, that was really good. <laughs> <laughs> heroes, uh, let's go ahead and have you introduce yourselves. Tell us your name, who you're playing, and answer our question of the week, which is, who or what does your character hate most? And we will start with... Joe. <laughs> Fine. Um, okay. Hi, I'm Joe. I play Sodalite, aka lots of different names. Eh. Um, and I am the gym star of Dabby Stabby. Um, and I thought you were the gym star of Psychic. Well, well. <laughs> Psychics. Well. Psychic, yes. Psychic, psychic stabby, stabby. Psych yeah, psychic, stabby, stabby. Because we also have the other psychic on the team that does her own stuff. Um, it also results in a lot of stabby, stabby. Hmm. Let's break into the stabby, stabby. And thank you, Juke, for those bits. You have a hero point. Let us know in the chat who you'd like to give that to. Uh, Aunt Puppy, I already know who you want to give yours to. Uh, Aaron, <laughs> go ahead and tell me who you want to give yours to. I would like to give mine to Calvin. Okay. Hey, I'm going to need it. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible Ruby's in trouble right now. Yeah. You know, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, so uh, answering the question of the week. Um, so Teta she hates abuse like she doesn't really hate people even though like she has done like not okay things it's never from hate it's never really been from anger um what will upset her the most is when like something abusive is happening like right in front of her and because if it's right in front of her, then she knows she can make it stop. And so like, that's, that's the one thing that will just set her off. Um, but yeah, she doesn't hate people, even though like she's been given contracts and stuff from other people because they hate someone. She's like, cool, it's money. Um, but she doesn't carry any of that hate with her. That's all I got. Uh, uh, you skipped Brandon. So we're going back that way. Did I do that right? No. Yes. yes, you did that right. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Brandon. I play uh, Kingsley Palace, a.k.a. Jade Crystal, a.k.a. the Emerald Gem Star of Fortune. Um, I mean, Kingsley just, I don't hate anything. I just, that's no, such an ugly emotion. <laughs> I don't. I don't even understand why someone would hate someone else. Um, but I guess if if I stretch it and try and find an answer, 
Maybe Kingsley hates hate. That's valid. <laughs> Maybe. A little, little meta, <laughs> but <doesn't>, sure. <laughs> empathetic, but we're, we're going to go with that. That's like the best I can come up with. Uh, and then I will keep the uh, crazy, crazy train going by going up and over Joe to Aunt Puppy. That's me. Uh, I'm Aunt Puppy. I play um, Elliot, aka Alexandriate, um, but no one on the team except um, Silverlight knows her name. So that's fun. Um, and she is the gem star of magic. Um, well, I mean, what doesn't Alexandriate hate? That would that's probably, probably be a shorter list. Um, well, what does she hate most is what we most, were going for. Most. Mm, most. I mean, currently, probably her sister at this point, since mm -hmm. her sister is who ratted her out. So are you sure about that? That's true. I guess she's just assuming that her shitty little sister did it. What about the cat? I was going to say, what about that cat? <laughs> <laughs> or the cat. <laughs> I mean, like I said, you guys are, it's very difficult for her to pick <laughs> a most hated thing. I think more or less she just, it's not a person or thing that she hates most of all. It's just she hates when things don't go her way. So it's more like she hates you because you got in her way of doing said thing she wants to do. So it's not necessarily directed specifically always at a person, but like if it annoys her, she hates it. <laughs> she so never... Elliot is a toddler is what you're telling us. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes. So I will then pass it down to Aaron. Hey everybody, I am Aaron. I am playing Braylon, who is the Amber Gemstar of Transmutation. And the thing that Braylon hates the most, I cannot actually say on the stream, um, but I will say, oh, we're all moving around. Um, yep. Puppy, you're the GM now. Oh, no. That's not <laughs> um, but I think the thing that if asked, Braylon would say they hate the most would be the uh, the creature that they fought and that nearly killed them while they were in the Jedi Expanse during their Rite of Passage. So... I have a question on that though. Can I, you not tell us because it's a spoiler or can you not tell us because it breaks Twitch's terms of service? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So with that, I will give it to Calvin. Okay. Uh, well, I'm Calvin, and I'm playing Arcelia, aka the Ruby Gemstar of Strength. And as for the who or what that she hates the most, well, she does have a rival uh, back home, uh, Talindra Zervina, because um, their families have a long history going back between the uh, a long, <laughs> a long uh, a history of ancient tensions between the uh, Fortissum Mining Guild and the Zervina Crystal Corporation. And it sort of just at this point resulted in them just kind of uh, sniping at each other occasionally. There was that one time Chalindra threw her signed copy of Volume 5 of Shining Justice down a hole. <gasps> which is the worst thing she, that's ever happened. She threw it off the level three br bridge. So that's more than just a hole. <laughs> it's a very deep hole. <laughs> that's not coming back. <laughs> no. Or someone else found it, maybe. <laughs> Um, so yeah, of, of anyone who's out there, until she finds a villain that she hates more, uh, but it's still probably going to be Talindra at the top of her list. <laughs> and I'll pass it back up to Wiki. Um, I'd say that my villains and antagonists probably hate the Gemstars most right now. 
Oh, yeah. I also need to revise my answer um, that uh, Calvin inspired me. I think uh, who uh, Kingsley hates the most is anyone who hurts her friends. That's valid. So when last we saw our magical girls, they arrived at the Ash Keep after following a mysterious and violent dark creature there. As alarms sounded inside, the gem stars found it easy to enter the keep undetected as it had seemingly been abandoned in a hurry. They journeyed further down, deep under the complex, and were immediately set upon by the darkness bringing void creatures. Once the monsters has been, had been defeated, they discovered a strange laboratory that contained hundreds of stasis pods that they assumed to be filled with more of the weird mutated creatures. They didn't have much time to investigate that discovery, however, as they learned that Ruby had been infected by one of the creatures after a foot long, strange inky black shard broke through Ruby's neck near the shoulder like a spiky growth. The infection was quickly spread to Emerald as she rushed to her friend's side. And that is where we will pick up uh, with the gem stars. Um, experiencing the fact that uh, there is a an infection among the among their ranks and that they need to do something about that oh and morganite has said no one touch them because that's how it spreads yeah i believe the phrase used was highly contagious yes and um Morganite has also said that uh, they can't do anything about it, but that they're probably they're pretty sure that the Guardian might be able to do something about it back in Ithium. And didn't the Guardian also just like call us? Uh-huh. Uh, the last you heard when we closed out last time was that uh, the guardian came, the guardian's voice came through in your telepathic connection. Gem stars, if you can hear this, you are needed in Diamond Bay. The Mage Academy there has yet to be evacuated and has come under attack. We have no forces able to assist. They are healers and artists, not warriors. I fear for their survival. <sighs> Braylon will look expectantly over at Ruby. Okay, yeah, we've we've got to go help these people. And you are Ruby, you are in pain because yep. that didn't feel good. Um and you're starting to feel that itchy sensation again in other parts of your body. Uh, around your shoulders and your chest, lower back. And it's that same weird sort of itchy feeling that you had before this one occurred, before that first spike shot out. And you're starting to feel foggy in the brain. So she's trying to get back to her feet. Um, her words aren't coming out very clearly. Uh, I think a few more of these are about to burst out of me. Uh, so Soda still has three of the crystals that she yanked out of the uh, other critters. Mm -hmm. That's a word to use for those plant salad things. Sentient salads, that was what it called them. Um, well, there was one sentient salad, salad and then there were two. The the As best you guys could, could gather, the two of you who are from the expanse, there are bits and pieces that you recognize as other creatures. Like that might have been a gem cat at some point, but now it's something else. Corrupted. Something else. It's corrupted, it's mutated, it's wrong. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I want to hold up one of the other gems and near the one out of Ruby and mm -hmm. like 
compare them to see if there's a difference or if they're like the same thing. I don't want to touch Ruby just yet. Uh, so they, as you look at them, they look the same, but you also notice that uh, if you get the one you're holding up too close, it tries to become part of the one oh, in Ruby's oh, neck. Oh, okay. Nope. I'm going to keep those in my little satchel. I'm not going to put them near you. I am sorry if that hurt. <laughs> that was creepy. No, no more than it already does. <laughs> okay. Sorry. And if I remember correctly, we need all of us in order to go back to the Guardian. And the Guardian outside has. Of game, outside of game, we don't need to touch, but we don't know that. Because the Guardian did tell you that you're supposed to like hold hands in a circle. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, no, okay. So, um, mm, what if, what if, um, okay. I was going to say, Braylon was already ready to suggest, what if we try without touching and see what happens? <laughs> Emerald, your wrist feels really itchy. Uh, we should probably at least try it because my wrist feels really itchy. Yeah, let's do it. So we'll stand in a in a in a circle, but I'm going to be trying to help support Ruby, um, help her because she's probably got to stand in some kind of awkward position for the pain to not be there, and that's going to be a little difficult to hold. So I'm going to help her however I can because we can touch each other without being worried. And so you're both already infected. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, Ruby tries not to like touch Emerald again, but she's probably at this point feeling in too much pain to like avoid it in any ways. Uh, Ruby, give me a will save, please. And you have like a bunch of luck points from last yep. session. I poured three <laughs> luck points into you. Yeah, yeah. Good thing my will isn't, ooh, my will is incredible. Uh, <laughs> just gonna spend one of those points. I rolled a one on that. Uh, um, if roll 20 will work this week, oh, looks like it will. Uh, okay, but with a luck point, that would be 19, which also isn't great. No, it's not. <laughs> Um, you can more than one luck point at a time. You can I think so. Yeah, if you really want to. Yeah, I probably should. I don't want this to get worse. Try that again. There we go. There That's we a go. That's better. <laughs> That's a twenty-two. Yeah. Uh, so you feel. As, you're, as you guys are trying to get into a, a little circle to try the uh, teleportation, you feel there's, there's something pushing at your, at your mind, essentially. Um, and for a moment, you, you're pretty sure you blacked out a little bit, but it only lasts just a moment. But you don't remember, like the last thing you remember was moving toward the circle and then the thing in your brain and now you're in the circle, but you don't remember how you got there. So that happens. So she's just well, foggy, probably stumbles a bit. Yeah, not worrisome at all. Um, All right, let's go to the Guardian. Emerald. Yes. There is a very strong pain in your wrist as one of those spiky shards breaks through the skin at your wrist and kind of travels out. up along your arm. I, I, I yell out and say, yes, can we go quickly, please? Is everyone concentrating? Yep. Yes. Trying to. Um, it takes uh, an extra beat or two 
you're not sure if it's because you're not touching or because Ruby is whatever's going on with her brain. But you feel that, that similar pull, that flash, and you are now in Ithium. And the guardian who is facing a wall of crystal and a bit of it looks more transparent and like there's movement going on in, in the wall of crystal. And he hears you arrive and he turns quickly. And is he's, you were supposed to, and he sees both Ruby and Emerald. And uh, Morganite steps forward and says, they're beyond my ability to heal. I thought maybe, and the guardian holds up his hand and says, yes, bring them here. And I'm assuming you guys are gonna try to uh, go to the uh, guardian. Yeah, do our best. Yeah. So the guardian looks at you both sort of with a turn of the head and well I can fix this but there will be consequences I just take a little scared look at Ruby and then back at the guardian what and kind of consequences are you talking about Ithium will be closed for a while. And then he reaches out and puts a hand on each of you. And he begins to glow from within and rotate through colors. All of the colors that you've seen him sort of be while you're in his presence, he sort of rotates through those colors. And you feel, you can feel sort of a a warmth radiating from him and into you and then back out again. Um, almost like maybe he's flushing your system. Crystal dialysis. <laughs> kind of. Um, a really aggressive juice cleanse. <laughs> so yeah, it's a really, really aggressive juice cleanse. Uh, and uh, Ruby, your mind starts to clear almost immediately. And uh, Emerald, you're the first one whose um, those inky shards start to recede and then vanish. And the wound that was left begins to heal. Um, a few moments later, uh, the same thing starts to happen with Ruby and the jagged piece sticking out of her neck. Uh, the whole process takes five minutes or so. Hmm. And when, when the guardian removes his hands from you and takes a step back, you notice immediately that he begins to fade, like the color in him begins to fade. Um, that prism of color that's usually sort of glinting across his surface. Uh, it's almost like it's draining away. Um, and his entire crystalline structure of him starts to become opaque, whereas it's usually a little bit see-through, you know, like looking through frosted glass um, or like looking through an, a wet ice cube. Um, now it's become more like frosted glass. And areas of him, particularly his hands where he was touching you, uh, start to actually darken and little bits begin to crumble. Uh, many of you will recognize this as being very similar to the rot and decay that has been seen in the crystalline structures around the planet. And he takes a moment. 
You must go now. Save the mages at Diamond Bay. I will. I will contact you when I can. Go. What's going to happen to you? I do not know. And, and sent- above you, the um, the geode that is Ithium was open to the sky, and you notice that it begins to close. And Mari steps forward and says, "I feel like I I have to stay." And the guardian looks at her and says. Yes, there's much you can learn from this. The rest of you, go. And he snaps. And you are outside of the Crystallotoid Mountains. The five of you. Okay. Does anybody know where this academy is? You would, <laughs> you would be familiar with the location of each of the, particularly um, Braylon. You would be familiar with the locations of each of the mage academies in right. the various areas. Um, so, how far away are we talking about? Um. E- let me look at that map that I loaded. All right, we have a map, don't we? Yeah. All right. So um, Diamond Bay is over in over on the Shining Coast. Um, <clears throat> you appear in. You're pretty sure you're just outside of the expanse in the Sunstone Valley. So and over by- little, Are you talking about like in that corner where the Jadeite expanse, the mountains and the valley all kind of connect? Or? Yeah, yeah. You're, you're pretty sure you're right in that area at the moment. Okay. Um, well, my ship is in Pearl because our plans went to shit. Yep. Um, I think our teleport point, teleport point is still in Pearl, near the rotunda. No, no we went back, so now it's going to go, but take us back to the oh, right. no, territory. No, yeah. yeah. All right. You also don't have all six of you right now. That's too. Right. Now, all right. So I guess that the best option is for me to lightning my way over there. Probably. So. And, and then, then have them come to you. Yep. Yeah. Well, I'll I, I I will do so. It should not take me more than a couple of minutes. Um all right, that sounds good. We need to get going, so are you two okay? Okay. Are, are, you, are you okay? Um Yes, I'm okay. She's we like, have a like job looking to... at your neck and like, you know, pressing gently and... No, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. We have a job to do. Okay. You both feel perfectly fine now. Actually, you feel kind of refreshed. Whatever the Guardian did definitely worked. Um... <laughs> Actually, it shouldn't even take me probably even more than an entire minute um i can yeah, go a so thousand miles in two move actions yeah it's it's <laughs> roughly it's roughly you think it's roughly 800 ish miles from where you need to be okay so, so take, about, take about six seconds yeah <laughs> well probably 12 because i probably teleport up I, I probably make the first bolt so that I'm up high enough that I can see the Mage Academy and then tele- do a second teleport down to the ground. But yeah. Yeah. So, so within, within 30 seconds, I'm like, okay, yeah. I'm ready. Come, come to me. Yeah. 
Um, soda. Yeah. Do you have eidetic memory? I do not. I know. I, I, I've, I'm regretting not taking that, but it's fine. Uh, do you have insight? Yes, I have a little bit of insight. <laughs> All right. Just a little bit. <laughs> Give me an insight check, please. I mean, insight's an untrained skill. Everyone has a little bit of What insight. did I just do? You have no know. idea. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I don't know if that, it, I don't think that caused problems. I accidentally kicked myself out of <laughs> roll 20. Oh. oh, good job. Right? <laughs> and so I don't have my sheet. I'm so sorry. Uh, I got this. Okay. <laughs> Internet's being weird. Woo! So something about what just happened with the guardian tickles at the back of your mind. So there's mm -hmm. something familiar about it. Okay. I really feel like I should have left like one of these little crystals behind, but I don't know if that was going to cause more problems. But this doesn't like this. This is bothering me, you guys. All right, you still have those with you. I'm sure yeah. that won't be a problem. Yeah, <laughs> I feel like I'm accidentally carrying around grenades. More like yeah, a bio weapon. Moves. Okay. Yeah. No, it's more like a bio weapon. Bio weapon. Okay. Accidentally. Yeah. All right. <laughs> so, so soda is not, soda is not Alexandrite. It was accidental. What? Uh, you. All right. So two things. We'll stick with one that. is um, out of character related. Uh, <laughs> the grid on the map for tonight's map is off because I needed people to be able to move around things and I did not feel like <laughs> messing with that because it's a pre-made map. Um, <clears throat> so you can, there is a grid already on the map, built into the map that you can kind of use or you can use the ruler, whatever. Uh, but just so you know, there is no grid on the map tonight. Okay. And the second thing is that we're going to go to that map now. Does everybody see the map? Yes. Yep. Yeah. So you have all uh, come to Braylon, who has put you just outside of the location of where the uh, Mage Academy is. Um, there. Uh, it is on the uh, penin little peninsula down here, down in the lower left-hand corner. Mm, mm, mm. So it's down the set of stairs of the wall, uh, and there's a small um, community, little town that has, little coastal town that has uh, come up around it. Uh, and uh, the site that you see before you is very familiar uh -huh. to a certain park in the open on. Mm -hmm. um, this time, however, it looks like nearly everyone has been able to retreat. Nearly everyone who is not a target of these robed figures has been able to retreat indoors where they have, uh, you know, shuttered their windows, locked their doors, all of that. Um, so what you can see up on that top level there as you come into the little uh, coastal village is a bunch of these robed figures that look very familiar to you. Uh, are they flaming? Again? Yes, they are flaming. They are on fire, <laughs> uh, little blue flames. Um, and they're generally- um, This bigot's on fire. <laughs> kind of. Um, this time, however, uh, you can see at least one 
person who seems to be, for lack of a better term, directing the traffic. They're, they seem to be in charge of the little groups. So unlike last time where it was just a bunch of people sort of running around causing mayhem, there seems to be a bit of organization in, in this attack. So why don't we go ahead and roll for initiative? Don't forget to click on your tokens. Thank you. I am so not used to really good initiative. I'm sorry. I have ranks in improved initiative. Why do I have such a... Or... Fine. It hates. It hates you. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine here. Roll. Roll twenty says, "Welcome to being a player." <laughs> it's rude. <clears throat> all right. Uh, soda light. Yup. Yup. Yep. There's hey, a. Do you want to take Mary off the map? Oh yeah, I, I forgot. <laughs> do, do, do. Boop. There we go. Nope, that's oh full cool ride. How do I do this? Aha. Okay, cool. Um uh, I'm a I'm a oh crud, I'm sorry. I'm a I'm a huh, in a minute. Uh I'm a <laughs> dash here, I'm a I'm a shank this bitch. I'm gonna do All right. knife attack. Haha. -ha. That's rude. You sure oh. are. <laughs> wow. That was a nat 20. Yep. Yeah, it sure was. <laughs> oh no. Okay. That wasn't uh, you shaking. 20, so I'm looking for 22. Uh -huh. I don't like that at all. <laughs> all right i need to open my calculator it's it's not that bad i just my brain can't do math right now it's important to remember also that uh minions yep. are not critical against okay uh so you run up and you do some kind of weird I don't know, you tell me what you do because you just took out two from that minion group. <laughs> so rude. Um, yeah, no, she's just in full assassination mode. So she dips out of sight, like the hide in plain sight thing. And then all of a sudden you just like, it seems like a, a shadow morphs and she's just there as they crumple down and two, two daggers to her side where she essentially just went through the short rib, through the short rib. And uh, they, uh, they really, they really enjoyed that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alexandre? So are all of the people on the map bad or is it just the M's? Just the M's and anybody with a number. Anybody with a number, okay. So, B is for bystander. Yeah. Basically, oh, you're looking gosh. for basically you're looking for the red ones. Okay. So she did not turn invisible. She wants to use her scariness to her advantage. Then she looks more demonic when she when she's dressed as a as her character. So I'm gonna kind of sneak over here next to Soda. So I'm just she's gonna just kind of step over the lifeless bodies of the two minions there in front of her and is going to attempt to um, suffocate the other two. Cool. Everybody's taking full advantage of Morganite not being here <laughs> to yell at them about killing people. <laughs> uh, apparently. Yeah. Like, like 
I said I kind of forgot, kind of forgot uh, that she's touchy about that subject. Someone will lecture me later. Doesn't like when people stop her. Somewhere back in Ithium, she's like, all right so suffocation yeah, can we try oh. not to kill people please yeah 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 i mean actually no mary's mary's upset about us like hurting them badly <laughs> we all are not fans of killing well i think you I think at least two of them disagree with you on that. <laughs> oh, yeah, no. That's why I'm saying we. Those two are not included in the we. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Okay. So actually, I'm going to try and put them to sleep. So I'm going to try and <laughs> incapacitate them. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to kind of. Is that a will save? <gasps> Fortitude save. Fortitude. And what is the DC? DC is 20. So I okay. changed my mind because my suffocation is only 17. That's fine. They yeah. immediately fall asleep. <laughs> then she stabs them in the chest. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be kind of her move. Is she just kind of like, whenever she's putting him to sleep, she just kind of turns and looks at them and just goes Shh, aggressively in their eyes and just they. <laughs> okay, for a minion group, if it's a fail by one, one of them would fall asleep, right? Um, I mean, I'm not sure about the rules for minion groups. Normally, it's, yeah, I, I, I don't know. Um, I think it's one per rank of failure. Yeah, I, I think, so. think that's what it is. I'm just looking for something that looks like sleeping. <laughs> to denote the sleeping. <laughs> You're not really oh shit all mine except there we go that that looks like sleeping <laughs> so uh you guys immediately take out all but this one little green minion who's like uh crap and immediately yells gym mages rude not <laughs> technically accurate but okay Uh, that person does a thing. Who is this? Who is this? Uh, those people are gonna do some stuff. You hear, you hear coming from uh, the south of you, where you know the is the general area of the academy noise and scuffling and yelling and screaming and general sounds of not goodness and fighting happening. Uh, you hear some more of that. You see a big blue go off. It's more yelling and blah, blah, blah. Uh, some more bystanders take the opportunity to run inside of where they are. That's a good thing. While you're, um, while you have their attention. Who's this? Where are you? Sorry, I have a group here that's not uh, not letting me know who they are. Who are you? Ah, okay. Uh, some more flames happening, more screaming, more yelling. You can't really see what's happening, but it doesn't sound good. This group is going to move collectively toward you. They're going to harass this old man who's like, seems to be protecting his horse on the way past. Uh, 
but they're mostly just coming in your direction. Uh, more sounds coming from down toward the academy and Amber. Um, Amber will mentally ask Ruby, um, should we fight our way through or make our way straight to the academy? We, uh, we should, uh, we, we need to get their attention. We need to draw them away from the school. Fair enough. Um, Amber will transform into a humanoid being of fire. Okay. Like a fire elemental looking thing? Pretty much, yeah. Actually, no, that's a terrible idea. They're fire-based. Um, let's go for... Yeah. I'll go for um, a water elemental. Okay. Uh, and uh, we'll slosh forward to right there. Okay. Um, to the blue man group. <laughs> yep. And um, trying to remember what that, that one is. Okay, that is actually an attack roll. That is not a area effect. So I will hit them with a uh, fire hose worth of water. Um, and... That came out wrong, but I was going to rename it first, but yeah. Um, so that is a 22 hit. And that will hit. Okay, then um, it is a DC, it's it's not actually damage, it is a, a DC 20 fortitude save. All right. Go. Oh, hey, they forded that dude. Uh, okay. Just. Hello. They just forded that dude. Well, that's um, <laughs> the one closest to you, his flames go out. Okay. Okay. Well, then that is what I do. Okay. What group is this? Why did I spread these groups out so much? <laughs> I'm in a cuddle. Uh, more sounds coming from down toward the school. Okay. Uh, so this blue group is like, thanks for coming over here, mage person. Uh huh. And um, they're gonna, gonna uh, they're gonna hellfire blast you. Why not? Sure. Uh, twenty-two to hit. Not even close. Nice. Cool, cool. They're real smart. They're like, get the water person with the fire. Uh -oh. Really, really, camera, really, really, really. I didn't even touch my dad. We all win! Yay! <laughs> Everybody dies. No, I did. I didn't even touch my desk. <laughs> Hold on. All right, so uh, they did very poorly, Emerald. <laughs> they chose poorly. They really did. I don't know what else they were going to do. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I kind of ran over here hoping they would attack me, so. I am going to have had them move a little bit, though, because they would have sure. tried to. 
us around you a little. Sure. Because that won't be bad for them at all. Nope. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? For them, who knows? It's not like I can transform into a form that could, like, I don't know, explode. Um, <laughs> Emerald, it is your, your turn. Okay. Um, well, uh, first, I'm going to spend a hero point. Say, gem stars, time to shine. And everybody gets a plus five to all their rolls until the start of my next turn. Then... I'm going to move five. Where do I want to move? I think I'm just going to hang out this corner right here. And that's my turn. Okay. Where are you? Make a note. Don't forget your plus fives. Okay. Uh, more noises from down below. Ruby? Okay. Um, yeah, so there's a lot going on down there. Um, most of the team is up here. And Ruby is feeling pretty bad about what she did to Rar. Who gave me a hero point and why? I gave you the hero point to give them all a plus five. Okay. I was like, I just couldn't figure out why it was, uh, on the table. <laughs> okay, so... You know, uh, you said Ruby feels pretty bad about what she did to Rar, and for some reason my brain heard um, uh, Alara feels pretty bad about what she did to Agris. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, same thing, right? Should. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um... <laughs> I was just trying to remember my movement speed, which is 120. So I am going to, probably a bad idea, but I need to get the attention of these people who are down here bothering these mages. So Ruby is going to take a move action to get over, no, I need to draw them away. So probably down here then. Um, And then I'm gonna do some punching, but do I notice anything that's going on down here? Because we were only hearing explosions before. So what's this? Yeah. Issue? So once you get down the stairs and into view of the lower section of this little coastal uh, village, um, you can see this whole bottom section here uh, belongs to the school. They have a little, um, they have some docks, a little fishery, little, uh, you can see in, in one corner, there's like a little garden. They clearly are kind of self-sustaining. Um, the school itself is over on the other side. Uh, there is a large amount of these people just, I mean, they look like they're trying to kill these, these mages. Um, some of them look to be, most of the, most of the mages you see look to be in their, early 20s maybe. Um, and there are some over by the actual school that look like they have taken up as best they can guard positions of the actual entrance into the school itself. Um, and they look older, like maybe they're the teachers at this school. Uh, and down over the wall, you can see a, a group of these hateful people, these fiery hateful people uh, being led by one of those leader looking people. Uh, and they look like they are trying to get a hold of, they look like they're trying to get past of an, past an older mage uh, to get to three children uh, mm. down off the shore. Uh, so that's down here. Uh, where you see three smaller looking bystanders. Uh, and those are probably, they're maybe 13, 14 years old. How and far down is that? Uh, it's maybe a, maybe a 25 foot wall there. That's not good. Um, 
well, yeah, Ruby is going to come barreling down these stairs. She's going to turn, look westward, and she's going to yell out, if you want to hit something, hit me. <sighs> and she's going to follow that up with Ruby Flurry Fists of Fury with a... <laughs> <laughs> uh with a big old cone which i made 60 feet once sweet since we got more power points <laughs> oh god which means they need to do some dodging at 20 to avoid damage at 25 okay. i'm gonna just go directly uh west of me so you are going So, yeah. All right. Do, do, do. Let's go with group number one. Uh, that is fail. Group number two. That is a, very much a fail. And group number three. Hey, they they made that one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, what am I looking for? A toughness save of 25? Yeah, for the ones that failed, it's 25. For the ones that succeed, it would be tw 20. Yeah, because it's okay. right uh, Let's do the two that failed first. So we got group number one. Jesus. That's 10, that's two. Yeah, you take out two um, from this first group. They go down like a sack of potatoes. I don't want that. I want you to exit. Thank you. Okay, group number two. Uh, you take out one from that group. And group number three. Oh my God. Group number three, super pass their, their, their dodge check. Super just failed that toughness check. <laughs> I think you might have just taken out that whole group. Uh, Epic. I hope so. <laughs> There's one left. One left in that group. Okay. I imagine that got their attention. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I mean, it, it at least got the attention of the ones that you knocked out. <laughs> Short lived. But... Yeah. I mean, their attention span was really small, but in that brief <laughs> moment, you had it all. Um, I believe you have. Do you have takedown? Um. Yeah, but I don't think it. But it only work. it doesn't work on area, right? Yeah. Yes, you've been a direct. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, if attention was what you wanted, attention was what you got. Give me a perception check, please. Perception. Okay. Yeah. Oh, well, I guess there's a plus five on it for what it's worth. Yeah. Uh, is that 17? No. Okay. Uh, do, 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 who is this? <gasps> okay. Um, what's the range on that? Yeah, that's helpful. Thank you so much. Uh, from down here, uh, at toward the back of the school. Uh, somebody pulls up, uh, one of those, um, civilian version of a gem weapon. It's, it looks like maybe it's a hunting rifle and they take a pot shot at you. Sorry, out of character. I, in Sodalite, picked up the gem rifle from that other encounter. Yeah, she sure did. I had never got stats, but... Yeah, you sure didn't. Um, I'll get them to you after tonight. Okay, cool. Yeah. 
Because like if Soda <gasps> hears like a a, a a shot being fired, she's gonna be like, "I'm a snipe a bitch. Where are they at?" <laughs> uh, and that the the little beam from the weapon goes completely off. Just they they clearly don't know how to use this weapon. They probably stole it from someone here. <laughs> it's a solid glare back at them. <laughs> Uh, let's see. What are you going to do? Right. Hold on. Let me, the thing that I need. All right, so down in that area um, where you see the group of people, uh, the group of five people down there harassing that one adult and those kids, um, the, the leader looking one uh, reaches out for the uh, for the teacher. Sorry, I have so many sheets open right now. No worries. That just means we need to kill more people. Maybe we'll Not have to kill. worry about those sheets. <laughs> Knock out or injure. Oh. And <laughs> grievously wound. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> There's healers here. And reaches out. Oh, and... there isn't. Well, I guess if we do save the ones that are here. Reaches out and grabs uh, that that what looks what you're assuming is the, is one of the teachers grabs them by the throat, Eep. and then sort of flares up, and the teacher sort of screams as these evil blue flame things sort of engulf them for a moment, um, and they are clearly not doing well, but they're still trying to keep themselves between this group of menacing people and the kids. And the itty bitty bees, those are the kids? Yeah. So there's three kids? Yeah. It looks like they were probably, when all of this went down, they were probably down on that shoreline, like, holding some kind of uh, inspect the beach crystals class or something. Maybe they were collecting something, you know. Looked like they were having a little bit of outdoor classroom time, essentially. Okay. Uh, cool. Back cool. up yeah. at the top. Uh, the leader number one is going to move toward um, Alexandrite a little bit. And that feels like a bad idea. Try to blast you with a 21 to hit. That's rude. <laughs> what? what? I mean, they're not exactly not rude people. <laughs> and so, what am I having to roll against? Uh, I just need to know what your dodge is. Five. Okay, so 21 will hit. Uh -huh. uh, so I need a 20 toughness save. As long as I roll better than a five. Why would you say that? I know. <laughs> Although remember you have a plus five temporarily because of Emerald. So then whatever I'm rolling is going to be to 20. Oh no, I need to be to 21. No, you need to be to 20. Okay, because my toughness is 15, so... Come on. 18 plus five. Seven, 23. Yeah. So this fire washes over you and you feel it. Like it's not pleasant, but it doesn't seem to do any lasting damage. Definitely adding instant counter on my, some, <laughs> some form of, I can hit you right back. <laughs> Actually you have that, but only if they hit you with like a melee attack. Hmm. 
you need that hellish rebuke. Yeah. <laughs> Wrong system. Wrong system. <laughs> uh, so uh, the one little green guy who's left. You could make a hellish rebuke. It wouldn't be that hard. No. Uh, so the one little green guy that's left is going to give Soda the dirtiest look her dirty little face can muster. Because um, this is, uh, as she's looking at you, you can see that this is a relatively young, probably just maybe a farmer. Um, she's got a bit of like dirt on her face and she looks like maybe she just like came from the farm for this little gathering. What are you and, doing here? Um, uh, she could try something different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. For funsies. Oh. For funsies, she's gonna... She's going to throw a pitchfork at you. Will a 17 hit? My what? Uh, your, she's throwing it, so you dodge. No, no. No? no? <laughs> okay. She gives you another dirty look because that was her last pitchfork. Okay. <laughs> can I just like pick it up and be like, you can have it back? I mean, if you want to, it's your turn. <laughs> Just hand it back to her and be like, try again. <laughs> I don't have time for this. You should probably not be here. I'm gonna go. Deuces. Um, <laughs> and she's gonna do do the the thing. What thing am I doing though? I don't know. So you actually hand her back her pitchfork? Not not like a, like a legitimate action, but more like I don't know because like in the dodge, I feel like she's just gonna like catch it and be like, are you? Well, she'll take it back and she'll be like, death um, to the gym mages. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's appropriate. Yeah. Um, I think uh, she's gonna, oh, this mofo is still here though. Has sure number is. one been hit at all? Number one, no. Hit me. Hit you? you? Oh no. And does number one, okay, so the the green dot looks like a farmer yeah someone normal caught up in something not so good okay number one looks extra flamey e or? extra flamey a little bit older probably still a farmer though or uh a more doesn't look like any doesn't look like a anything special doesn't look like a military person doesn't look like a gym mage just just looks like a normal everyday person super sus on you but i mean except for the whole wearing the robes yeah. and being yeah, on yeah, fire yeah. Thing, except for the flaming obviously. part like yeah you don't look intelligent enough to be doing what you're doing or you look exactly intelligent enough to be doing what you're doing yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, she's going to bounce though. Um, she's going to come down and try to support Ruby and the shenanigans down here. Um, he's so I'm like, y'all ain't even worth it. I'm going now. <laughs> yeah, nah. Um, so I, I think because of how far away that is, she's going to need to use, uh, her action to move more. What is your normal movement? I think I have like a lame 30. Mm -hmm. Yeah, then yeah, you'll need a double movement. Yeah. Okay. Um, cool. So yeah. Alexandrite? That person just tried to light you on fire. So I'm not, I want to do two things. Okay. The first one is I want to use my, uh, my weak asses affliction. I haven't used that one yet. Okay. Um, but I don't understand it. So, <laughs> well, Aaron built it. So we'll ask Aaron. So weak asses is a broad, simultaneous, um, weaken effect against ability scores. 
So um, you do actually have to make a, an attack roll with it using your magic. It's not a perception range. Okay. Um, then if it hits, um, they have to make a uh, save against a, uh, a fortitude save against a DC of 20. And for each, uh, yeah, da, 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 da. but it's only for a single opponent, correct? It's not yes. an area effect. Okay. Although, if you use it against a minion group, I would allow it to affect the whole group. Okay. So, I mean, the first step is make an attack roll. The second step is they, if they're hit they get a DC 20 fortitude save. Well, the first step is who would you like to use it on? Well, yes. Number one. Okay. Yeah. So I'm aiming for number one on that one. And okay, then, go ahead. Okay. Let's start with that. So okay. go ahead and roll your attack. Well, plus five, that's 15. Mm, I'm gonna roll that again. Give me that hero point. I would, but it shows I have two, but I can't drop any. I don't know why it's doing that, but I I, I took it. It's fine. Go ahead. Here we go. I'm going to try this again. How about a 27 plus five? <laughs> uh, that will hit. Okay. And you said uh, 20 fortitude? 20 fortitude. Correct. All right, that is a 14. So that is a failure by six. six which is so, two degrees. No. no. Oh, okay. I got you. So it's... Um, they lose six power points off of each of their ability scores. So essentially, they have a minus three to strength, stamina, agility, dexterity, fighting, intellect, awareness, and presence. Damn. I can put that on the sheet, right? Yeah, you, you should be able to put it on in the modifiers. Yep. Um, should I, so, am I still fatigued from the last battle? So it's minus three to everything, correct? Minus three to all of their ability scores, which should in turn also reduce their dodge, their parry, yeah. their fortitude, their toughness, and will by three. And would also uh, hit their attack rolls by three. Yep. All right. Okay. That was unpleasant for them. They did not yeah, like they that. They feel very weak. Uh, and uh, the That's flames, weak, yeah. they had, uh, this person had very strong, high, like bold flames. And when you hit them with that, it they visibly dim and shrink. <laughs> Oh, that makes me happy. Uh, you said you wanted to do something else? The other thing I wanted to do was to create all of my minions. Okay. Uh, you can either go fatigued or you can spend that other hero point. Okay, I will go fatigued. Okay. I will go fatigued and then I will create all eight of the minions. Okie dokie. Give okay. me just a second. I'll do that as soon as roll 20 wants to uh, let me. There we go. And your camera went out again. It's because I touched my keyboard. It doesn't like that. <laughs> How dare you? I know. And she's not creating little baby minions. She's creating giant minions. All right, so you should make sure you control those that I just put there. All right, so go ahead and, and move them where you want them to have appeared. Uh, one will come down here to help. Come and I am going to put a purple dot on prime you. Okay, she's going to move there to help. She's gonna move over here. She's going to come over here. Oh my God, there's so many of them. 
The one who said you wanted eight. I know. She's gonna come over here. Do bear in mind that you want at least a couple of them to still be within 30 feet of you. Because yeah, otherwise, I was gonna, I was otherwise you, two. Yeah. Otherwise you can't do the uh sacrifice thing if they if you get attacked. Hit me. Oh my yeah. god, Mouse, come on. All right. While uh while Elliot gets her rest of hers into place, uh <laughs> We are actually at our break time, and it actually that is actually a good time, a good place for us to go ahead and take our break. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take our break, stretch our legs, uh, refill our beverages. We'll be back in somewhere break between. <laughs> we will be back uh, somewhere between five and ten minutes from now. Enjoy the uh, the break music. <laughs> 